Okay, we've been working here for a little bit out here this afternoon. We had to do some business uptown, so we got that done. It, uh, I hate wasting part of a day, so I come out here and do my thing, guys. You know how it is. Okay, we got that pipe that we was talking about building. We got it. We got it on the side. It, uh, I, I didn't want it to interfere with the chain break, which it don't. I got top cover off because I wanted to put a new depressor in see if I couldn't get this thing to start a little easier. Kind of got bugger. Okay, here's what I did. I opted to do one thing at a time. That's an old drag racer track. Make one change, see the results. Make another change, see the results. You do two, three things, you don't know what worked and what didn't or what interferes with what else. So we are going to do this type of muffler with an evolution. No baffle on the inside of it. But here's what I did do. We need to know what size the outside wants to be. I come up with this freaking harebrained little stunt that makes it simple. I probably build four or five of these before I get them where I like them. But initially, I, th I think we're good. What I did was right on the inside there. If you see, see that little tab sticking out? What that tab is, a little piece of metal. I can bend that with my finger. And I went back in here and I welded it in and it's just another piece of this pipe is what it is. So I can move that. I can get it where you can see it. See, I made it bigger there. See that? Made it bigger. Made it smaller. We're going to see we're going to see what's works best. We're going to be able to tailor this. We really are. Uh it's kind of a neat little thing. I do want to get where this is kind of an automatic baffle. So it works like a power valve on a newer two-stroke. You guys know what them are, don't you? It's got the bikes. Try to explain it. I don't want I, uh, I, I want to see what you guys can do. I'll explain it. What it is, is a variable exhaust opening. And what it does, the power valve, when you're lower RPM, closes the exhaust down. And as your RPMs pick up, it raises it. It actually changes the exhaust timing. You know, this is why we do what we do to these. We are fixed on timing. But I'm making a variable exhaust. That's what I'm going to do. And it's it's going to be like a reed on the exhaust when I'm done. It's going to be spring-loaded reed. I was going to put a little screw in there with a, a, a piece of a washer with no hole into it. And just keep adjusting it. And I said, well, let me try this first. It's right there. It's, it's real simple. If it works, it works. If it don't, we'll go, we'll go to the other one. I know one thing will happen is, is as that heats up, that gets hot enough, it'll probably move a little. But uh, I kind of pretty much started with a, a hole about the size of my middle finger. Yeah, it's, uh, well, let me start it up. Let's see what we got here. I filled a room full of smoke a second ago. supposed to start the saws in the house or inside I know one thing, we'll have to open that door in a minute here guys, my really goodness sakes so anyway, here, oh, that's kind of where we're at with us, it's kind of a unique thing, uh, I'll tell you what I did find out already 
Uh, that's kind of a bad idea with that little thump thing. Remember we just talked about that, getting hot? Well, it it vibrates too much, unsupported like that. And part of that already broke off. I see it go flying across the room. But you know what I noticed? It didn't make a difference way that saw run. I'll be danged if I know why. I'm going to have to get somebody smarter than me to tell me why the Ted didn't just fall right on his face. It should have. But it didn't. But we're going to do something a little different. We'll just keep playing with this on our own time. And uh, we'll get something going here. And uh, everything we find out, we'll share. It's it's kind of way fun to do something like that. It breaks the monotony of uh, your everyday things you got to do. It really does. Yeah, I did turn the saw up, finally. But now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tune it to the pipe. That's what we gotta do now. You know, actually, the whole color of that ain't too bad. It's, uh, it was a little lighter. I'm a little surprised it got darker. It got just a little darker. And I'm okay with that. It's a dark, dark gray. That's what the plug actually is. You guys didn't see that good. It's a dark, dark gray. Oh, no, don't want to lose the bolts. Well, i tell you what, it won't be the first one I ever lose. I know where it went. I just got to get it. They got the... This is the one thing I like the Husqvarna a lot more, uh, a lot better. It's easier to get to everything. The steel was a little, a little harder to get to everything. It honestly was. And they had some bright ideas of how to get your plug in and out. They didn't give you no room. Husky wiring it. Hey, you want a room? Take the air cleaner off. That's when you're going to want to change your plug anyway. Now German Engineering says you must take your air cleaner off. Yeah, okay, we got that. So we do that. That's how we got to do it. And uh, I'm going to fiddle fart around while I'm visiting with you guys. Put this back in. i got to find my nose around the wrench. If I can't find something that's on the edge of the table, you know what I do? I look on the floor. It's probably where it went. Well, I know one thing. i got a fumy in here. That's all right. Ain't the first time. We can run on two stroke, can't we? Probably not a good idea. No, it ain't. It, uh, it probably ain't. I changed my decompressor. I got one, a newer one, of a brand that I knew was really kind of a stiff one. And, uh, I was, what I was hoping would happen is it would, uh, It wouldn't pop that off so quick, but it didn't make a darn difference. Uh, this saw's got more compression than I wanted. I don't want that much in a saw. Compression ain't what makes horsepower, guys. It's not all of it anyway. There's better ways. There really is. And uh, get that lid here. There we go. Get old Dave dressed up. Well, I'll be darned, I lost my little, uh, uh, starting that in here, you know what I did, it's a little stud that screws in the end of this. I lost that, farting around. So, one more thing I gotta find. Like I said, if you can't find it on your table, you look on the floor, it's right there. Yep, it is, I'll guarantee you. So, I got, I got a couple more over there if I lost it, but... I don't think I did it outside because I haven't been doing anything. I haven't been cutting with it. Um, okay, we got... Colin's been out of town all week, my son there. And he's been working and uh, he, he'll be home late tonight. And so this weekend we got a bunch of things we're going to try to get done if he's up to it. It's stuff that it's hard for me to do it alone, you know, it would be for anybody. But... Like one thing I need to do, I really need to go cut with some wood. If it's a decent day, Saturday or Sunday, we're going to be running some saws that we got built here, including that 61. 
I'm really, really cranked about that particular saw. Because I want one of them. I really do. I think it's a good idea for me to have one, too. What do you think? Yes, sir, it is. Well, I'll tell you, that... That hurt my ears in here. I'll be honest. That's that's a bit much. I, you know what? Any chainsaw does in this room. It just crack. They just crack. You know, this ain't, ain't a, I mean, it's not a huge space, you know. And, uh, but it does have quite a crack to it. But it, uh, it's healthy. I got to tell you that. This, this saw's all boy. 100 cc, which you guys know. And, uh. It's, it's pretty much the same build that I did there in that, for Luke's there, that six, that whole former that we're doing. It's pretty much the same build this one has. The, the difference is I'm on a flat top piston now, and this piston is just, it is. It's just, I'm sorry, it's a bit much. It really is. And uh, I don't need all that. I like talking to you guys and working. You know who I talk to otherwise? Myself. I'll be in here singing and I'm playing, having a good old time. Somebody walk in. Dang, Harv thought somebody's in here. You all right? Yeah, all right. Been home, been home a little bit too long or something there, bud? No, no, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm all right. You talking to me or the other guy that ain't here? I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Mm hmm. Wow. Say, dang, Herb. You okay? Yep. All right. You know, I don't worry about talking to myself. It's when I answer back, I get starting to get a little flustered. That's not a... That's not the good way, is it? Good talk to yourself. I'll be darned. What was that? That kind of thing. It's like, well, you don't know. I hate telling you. That right there's not healthy. I don't think I'm to that point yet. Boy, they didn't they didn't make that the easiest thing to work with right there either. There we go. We got that. I'm gonna go over my whole shelf and see if I got another one of them. I got a Mac here I gotta show you. It's a pretty cool Mac. It's uh, one I've been brought by. He says here, Harv, see you get this sucker on it. I said, well, sure. I can lay my hands right out of everything. Just today, today. Got parts and parts and parts. And more parts. Oh, they're not where I left them. It's the story of my life. I don't know why your week went. My week was good, but it was hectic. Hope you had a good week. Today's the day. Those of you that ain't got to work Saturday, you go do something you enjoy doing. Do it with the whole family if you can. Uh, I, I mean it. Uh, that's something I think we're going to go all out to dinner someday. I ain't told Barb yet. We don't ever do anything like that. Ever. Besides uh, fact, anytime we go out to dinner, it's really Makes you appreciate to cook at home, honestly, most times. You know, I ain't got it all bad, guys. I'm a poor man, but I ain't got it all bad. I really don't. Well, you know, you know what scares you? You see a little piece of metal laying on a, on a, on the table here, and you ain't sure where it come from. That's what's scary. Um... Bug of stock is September 18th, 19th, and 20th. It is uh, Mishawaka, Indiana. You guys have been asking. It's just, it's just outside of it. Uh, I, on the same road between Elkland and Mishawaka. As soon as they have the date or the, the address and, and all that, uh, I know that they're working on getting all that info up on Bucking site. Just be patient. It's a long way from Bucking stock. But you guys have been asking. I'm just giving you what I know. That's what I know so far. And uh, I, I'm I'm happy 
I'm happy that so many of you said, hey, I'm showing up. That makes me feel good. Because I'll tell you what, I'm showing up too. I'm going to be there. And I'm going to have old Dave there. How's that one? Yeah, I thought you'd go for that. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So that's what we're going to do. I'll probably have a couple more extras. Take, take the time out of your life, though, this weekend. Change your routine one day and just go do something as a family. Just try it. Let me know Monday how that went. I'm going to let this go short today. Uh, I, I've got, i got to find my stud that I lost on my air cleaner. What the heck can you do with that, you know? And I'd like to get this barred up and uh, get it ready to run. And i got to decide whether that little piece of baffle that I thought was such a great idea, it turned out and it wasn't, uh, is hurting it or helping it. You know, it acted like it didn't change a darn thing when that little piece busted off. There's part of it still in there. I thought I would have heard it or felt it change. No, nothing. It didn't. It didn't do nothing. I wonder if that pressure fell on the radius of that pipe, creating a high pressure spot to slow that down, give it enough back pressure where the saw operates properly. I can tell by reading a, uh, a plug, it didn't lean out. That's what happens when your exhaust gets open too far. It leans right out. It didn't lean out. Maybe we'll just leave the darn thing alone and just see what it does. Every five minutes, read the plug for just a little bit after some good cutting. What do you think? Yeah, I do too. I'm not saying that this is the design I'm going to settle on for the steels and the 66s. I do kind of like that big old horker there, though. I honestly do. It doesn't interfere with the brake. Everything works the way it's supposed to. Uh, it's quite a little pipe. It really is. I know one thing, this all gets your attention when you first fire it now. I mean, it did anyway. Everybody turned ahead, but now it starts with a real crack. I'm going to make a video tomorrow. Uh, it's either going to be cutting, working here, working on this CR500 to Collins. That's his bike, by the way. The Mako's mine. And uh, he just wanted that one so that he keep up with old dad. I know what he wanted it, you call him. Actually, he didn't have any trouble on his 250 keeping up on me. He got a real nice uh, new Suzuki, or yeah, Suzuki Yamaha uh, 250X, the YZ 250X. It's a trail transmission more than it is motocross. Little lower geared first and second is what it is. It's uh, the rest of it's full blown moto, you know. You can call it a trail bike if you want to. That thing a motocross and it runs. And you'll see it again this year. Uh, we have riding videos. If you guys want to look, go back and look. You'll see us where we got the both 500s out, the 370s out, uh, all kinds of stuff earlier this year. Or, I mean, earlier last year. Uh, so if you think you missed out or you can't wait for them 500 videos, we got videos with both of them on at the same time. We're both riding them. Uh, so don't miss that. Okay, I gotta let you go. I've been yakking. I can get to talking here and I'll never quit. Okay, you stay safe, brothers, sisters, friends. Goodbye.